What's up guys, today I have a little tip for you, which is always use constants for uh, bundle keys. So first of all, what's a bundle? For example, when you have a, when you start a new activity, I want to pass some uh, variables there. Let's me create a second activity. So here I've got a second activity and let me just start uh, it in any place. Start activity. New intent. This and we start in second activity. So sometimes you would want to pass some variables to the second activity which you would uh, use put extra. So an overloaded method with a bunch of different uh, types you can pass here let's say just key one and it's gonna be an int let me just instruct the intent and some more key two and some string and you could uh, put lots of more and in second activity you would uh, you would uh, use get intent extra with the key one like uh, that and and save it as a field right and the same for the last key two which is uh, a string default value here so under the hood uh, this put extra of uh, intent has a bundle which is just puts values there so basically it's an abstraction over a bundle for you so the worst thing you could do is type in keys in second activity manually like that because in most cases it's not just some four letters it's mostly like username or something you know like uh, some meaningful keys which you could uh, pretty likely make a typer in f some cases I type fast but uh, I make lots of typos so at least copy pasting key from first uh, activity to second is uh, something uh, better than typing it manually but still it's not perfect for example you could copy pasted it and uh, it works well now but later on you would uh, add or uh, delete or update keys in those activities and you could easily mess it up with the for example your key in second or first activity could end up like that sometimes i mean or like a small type of somewhere in here and as you see comma here doesn't even display the green underline of there like a lint hint or you wouldn't even notice that i mean it happened to me it's not like i'm making this stuff up this stuff happened to me like more than once or twice so it's uh, just as advice for me as it for you so what you should do is always extract those keys as constants which is uh, this stuff and key two and then you use it as of those constants and the same here and what's the chance of error here it's zero right i mean there is no chance that you mess up with the using constant i mean here even compiler helps you for example, you cannot uh, write a wrong constant name. I mean, unless you have it as a, as a different constant, but it's not l really not likely. It's like never gonna happen because your constants are gonna, gonna have more meaningful names like uh, user username or something like that, you know. And even if you mess up with the constant, right? Something like that or comment here, still. You're gonna put this value and you're gonna retrieve this value so it won't matter so same applies for shared preferences 
reference manager get same always use constants here you wanna have you don't wanna have any chance of uh, messing stuff up because trust me you do it so often that out of 100 times you do it at least there is gonna be three times that you're gonna mess it up and the the big th problem with that is that in real apps you got bunch of code and you wouldn't uh, likely to look at the uh, the way you pass arguments from one activity to second you would mo most likely focus first on how you retrieve those values from f like from the user input or like shared preferences was it something in code that you messed up and uh, even if you look at let me replace it with the how it was like that even if you would look at here like oh maybe i pass it in the wrong way to the second activity and you have like a typo right you might not even notice it because uh, there is no lint hint here and there is no compiler hint anything i mean i spent it i spent like several hours like looking at my code like staring at the phone staring at this, at this code and trying to figure out and it's a big waste of time and also of course you could use uh, string uh, resources like uh, for keys right get string key one for share preferences uh, bundle or anything you want just make sure to set them translatable false which will disable them for localization software like in android studio or if you use some other localization services like crowding or anything else it would check for this flag and it wouldn't uh, even upload it there so for example there might be a different person who's making those translations and he's not gonna know about the context and he will translate them those keys you don't want to have that because for example if he translates your keys for sh it matters for shared preferences because those are saved uh, persistently and uh, for example imagine if he translates a key for a shared preference and the user changes language of on the phone then the shared preference is gonna be empty i mean it's not very likely this uh, like use case but uh, just set them uh, translatable false just to save people time not translating them anyway and yeah once again uh, the fun part is that it's not something uncommon or something that i'm making uh, making it up right now it's just that people don't like talking about uh, how lame they are their mistakes uh, so i hope you found it useful and uh, and i i know myself that uh, i never listen to anybody's advice and always learn by my mistakes which is uh, totally stupid so i hope you can learn from it and uh, apply it right away without uh, doing your own mistakes and wasting a bi bunch of time on uh, solving those kind of uh, stupid bugs all right if you liked it click like and uh, subscribe to get more stuff from me and take care